All right, I just got out the hot tub. We are going to do a differential fluid change. Watch what one day of hard riding, long distance. So, got two bolts right here. You can see it. It looks good. They both are 12 millimeter. Um, same torque, 14 pounds. I don't use a torque wrench. I know the, the power and all that from feel. Um, we use the same thing, same oil as we put in the oil. GN4 10W30. You don't need the full synthetic. This is good. I got a drain. Um, up right here and this is what I use to fill back up with oil um, I put the oil in here and suck it out with a syringe you're gonna need a syringe I got that one at O'Reilly's clean the cup out sure ain't no dirt or nothing in there I usually take out the top one first. Don't matter which one you take out. As long as you have something ready for the fluid to drain if you're draining the bottom on the main drain. This is the field. You fill it up from here. I see you notice how it's coming out of there too. Well, I do that because it makes sure it gets the air out. changed that the day before we went riding. Drive over. tip the bike on so my bike takes about two and a half of these maybe three depends on how much came out here that was weird so lay that there so you can uh, get the access that's when you know it's full so we'll start coming out there. So you want to wiggle the move the wheel so you can get the syringe a little farther in there. See how much farther the syringe gets down in there.
like I said, you know it's full when it'll start coming out the fill hole. Be careful not to tip the cup. This oil ain't cheap. It should start coming out about now. Like I said, maybe two and a half to three full syringes. And you see how it start coming out? So now you know it's full. Put the screw back on with the washer. And that's it. Let's move this, this, like this.